Hello everyone, welcome to my world. Classification, whenever we read this topic, we come across terms like species, genus, kingdom. But do we know exactly what these terms mean? If not, then keep watching my video. Wonder for a while that marbles are spreaded on the floor of your room, and your mom asks you to organize them and keep them in the following jars. Now you are confused how you will organize them, and you got options like characteristics, the bouncing capacity, appearance, color. And quick. How? Which option you gonna choose? There was a Swedish naturalist named Carl Linnaeus who got same kind of puzzle. He saw thousands of organisms in the nature which are unknown. So in 1735 he introduced classification. He decided to classify those organisms in order to study them more properly. He is also the former of binomial system. What is binomial system? Do you know? It's the modern system of naming organisms. If you want to know about binomial system, then don't forget to check my previous video. The link will be in the description. Well, going back to Carlinius, he is also the father of taxonomy. What is taxonomy right now? Well, taxonomy is Latin word means arrangement. It is the science of naming, defining and classifying groups of organisms on the basis of shared characteristics. Still confused? Let's get back to the, your puzzle. What do you have decided? Well, from the options, I have decided to take the characteristics and I have organized them in the jar. And to be more precise, I have even given their name B, free and Orton. In 1735, Carl Plinius did the same thing. He organized organism into groups. The way I organized the ball into a journal based on their same appearance and behavior. The same thing. And while the case of my marble, the appearance and was different, but the behavior, the bouncing capacity was the same. Carl Linnaeus got seven groups after organizing the organisms, and he even, to be more precise, named those organisms. Wanna know what are names? Well, the names are kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. So now you know what genus and species are. They are just the groups named given by Carl Linnaeus of organisms. These groups are also known as taxonomic. So let's get deep into the species. Species is a group of organisms that can reproduce and produce part-time offspring. As species are almost identical in their anatomy, physiology, and behavior, whereas genus are closely related species, are grouped into a genus. The plural word for genus is genera. Now, 
here is a point where you need to pay attention. Species are similar organisms which are grouped together, whereas genus are related species which are grouped together. For example, lion. You take lion, it's a species. And jaguar, it's also an another species. But these species are quite similar. They are somehow related. So they belong to the same genus named Panthera. For to be more precise, let's see the mate. On the left hand side, you can see a lion and then a jaguar and finally a tiger. What you can see, the both of them are aggressive, isn't it? The way they hunt for the food, the way they work, all are quite related, though they are different species. As they are quite related, they belong to the same genus, Panthera. Hmm. If you want to know more about genus and species, their differences, then don't forget to let me know in the comment box. Hopefully, it was very helpful to you. So, what are you waiting for? Stay tuned.